Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss how we can clone a virtual machine in uh, Azure. So what is the basic concept of cloning of a VM? So let's give me an example. Uh, like uh, we are having a, a VM deployed in the production environment and we want to deploy with the same configuration in the staging environment. So we will use the clone so that all the configuration available in the production environment will be replicated in the staging environment. Okay. So moving to the steps, how we can proceed. First of all, I will log in uh, portal.azure.com and search the VM. Go to the disk and create the snapshot of disk. In my case, you, as you can see, I have two disks available like uh, OS disk and data disk. So in my case, I will uh, take uh, a snapshot of all the disk. Might be in your case, there will be uh, three disks, four disks, or it will be one disk only. So uh, if you want to clone entire VM, you have to take snapshot of all the disks first including the data disks i have uh, taken the snapshot of uh, data disks along with the os disk so once the snapshot uh, will be uh, created we will create uh, proceed for the manage disk we will generally and basically we will uh, create a manage disk use uh, from the snap data snaps for that uh, we need to uh, go to in the portal and go to here create a resource here we have to check manage disk okay so i'm proceeding to create a manage disk here so here you have to select the resource group uh, where the snap uh, snapshot is available basically and uh, in the uh, source snapshot you have to choose that uh, snapshot which we have created earlier As you can see here, uh, my managed disk is completed for the OS disk only. I am proceeding for the data disk as well. Uh, the same way uh, we will uh, create for the data disk as well. Uh, the managed disk for the data disk, uh, data disk as snapshot. Okay. Here we will uh, go through the snapshot and we'll take uh, we'll select the data disk uh, snapshot only okay then review and and create once the uh, managed disk uh, is created for all the days uh, we will uh, proceed for the new vm de deployment using that managed disk okay so i'm um, so i'm going to the resource group where all this uh, managed disk is available as you can see here in the screenshot, I have a uh, man disk available for the OS disk and the data disk as well. So select the OS disk first. And once you open the OS disk, which is basically managed, so there will be an option to create a VM. Okay once you selected to create a uh, virtual machine from the that managed is here you will uh, get uh, this page where you have to mention all the details as you can see here in the image uh, section i have choose the managed disk because uh, uh, we have to create uh, a virtual machine using my uh, managed disk only okay so let's move to the next step, uh, which is on the, about the size. The size should be uh, same as original VM. 
uh, depend on you if you want to uh, increase or decrease the size of that beam but uh, it will it will always recommend it to uh, the same size okay as the original vm let's move to that uh, networking part and set up accordingly here as you can see uh, in the disk i have uh, to add our uh, data decks here so here we can uh, choose our data decks uh, which is uh, which we have uh, created uh, uh, like a managed disk which we created so here we have to attach the existing as you can see in the drop down i'm getting the data disk option i will select here Once the disk is selected, you can proceed for the networking part and configure accordingly. All the validation uh, have done, like uh, advanced uh, tagging management, all this you can uh, review and create. Once the deployment uh, has uh, successfully, go to that management uh, VM management page, and you can see you can see here. All the details is available now. The VM which we have created. Let's uh, move to RDP to that VM and go to that uh, disk management, and you can see all the uh, disk is available here. This is the basic concept. Uh, this is the basic uh, step, easiest step how we can clone a virtual machine easily in uh, Azure.